I just woke up to realize that I'm having a situation with my eyeball. There's some sort of red dot on it and I'm just praying to God that it's not serious. But I've decided to move forward with my day anyway because I've learned in life that when these types of situations arise, you can either cry about it or cupcake about it. Cupcake about it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And today we're cupcaking because if I cry anymore, my eye's just gonna get more bloodshot. Introducing the Bloodshot Eyeball Cupcake. Here's what you'll need. Cupcakes, white icing, a spatula, two piping bags filled with green and black icing, and each fitted with a coupler. Piping tip number 12, red icing and a coronet or paper cone. We'll get to that shortly. So we're gonna start by topping the cupcake with a smooth round dome of white frosting. Now for the iris. I'm going to attach my piping tip to my green bag. And the way you do that is you unscrew the ring around the coupler, put the tip on there, screw the ring back on. What I'm gonna do is just pipe straight up and down and I'm gonna let the icing build up so I get like a nice big bulging iris. There you go. Next, I'm going to switch tip number 12 from the green icing to the bag with the black icing for the pupil. Just squeeze the green icing out of the tip to get to the black. The way to avoid doing something like that is if you're going to make a bunch of eyeball cupcakes at one time, just put the green iris on all of the cupcakes at once, clean out the tip, put the pupil on there. This is also an anatomy lesson. Straight up and down. I'm just gonna let it build up a little bit this time. See, that's like a nice, clean, healthy eyeball, but we're gonna make an eyeball like my current eyeball. For the red veiny part, we're gonna start by making a coronet. Start with a triangle of parchment. We'll label the corners A, B, and C. Curl corner C in so that the back of it meets up with corner B. Next, curl corner A around the back of the cone. Pinch all the corners together and make sure the tip of the cone is very tight. Next, fold the corners over so that they're inside the cone. Fill the cone with icing and fold the left and right corners of the cone in and then fold the top over and roll it down. Now cut the tip off and you're ready to go. And then what you'll wanna do is you'll want to test it just on your parchment to see how it's working for you. Mine's working great. Big surprise. So then we're gonna take our awesome eyeball cupcake and we're just gonna make creepy bloodshot marks like that. It's scary. I'm glad my eyeball didn't look like that. Your bloodshot can really go any which way. Whatever you think is grossest and creepiest and scariest. And there we have it. Bloodshot eyeball cupcake. Perfect for Halloween. You can thank my eyeball for inspiring this masterpiece. Happy Halloween. And when they finally pulled the driver's body from the twisted burning wreck, it looked like this. It was the worst accident I ever seen.